Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to upload your designs to smartphone cases on Merch by Amazon. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified each time I release a new tutorial. Merch by Amazon has recently been launching new products, and on July 7, 2020, sellers received a message announcing the launch of print-on-demand phone cases for select iPhone and Samsung Galaxy models. They have since added even more smartphone case models, allowing us to reach a wider audience. In order to create designs for smartphone cases on Merch by Amazon, you'll first have to download the phone case design template. So let's head over to the Merch by Amazon homepage and go over how to do that now. From the homepage, let's look up at the top right and click on the Resources tab. This will take you to the Merch by Amazon resources page where you can view all sorts of information about the Merch by Amazon platform. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you'll see a tab called Download Product Templates. Let's click that now. If you're already a Merch by Amazon seller, this is where you downloaded the templates for your t-shirts, hoodies, and other apparel. When Merch by Amazon launches a new product, they also release a new template. So let's scroll down and see if we can find the phone case template. There we go. So here's the template for the iPhone and Samsung phone cases on Merch by Amazon. If you look at the template info, you can see that the phone case template is 1800 by 3200 pixels. You can download the phone case template for Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, or a free photo editor called GIMP. For this example, I'll be using GIMP. So let's click the link here and download the product template. Once the template is downloaded to your computer, double click the file to open up the template in your photo editor. And voila, here's the Merch by Amazon phone case template. This same template can be used for both the iPhone and the Samsung cases. The box outlined here is the print area for the iPhone case, and the smaller blue box here is the print area for the Samsung cases. You can now use your photo editor to create a new design or upload a design that you've already created. For this example, I'll be using a design that I've already created using the Placeit T-Shirt Design Maker. Whether you're selling phone cases, t-shirts, or hoodies, the Placeit T-Shirt Design Maker can help you create awesome designs that you can use to load up your store. When you join Placeit, you'll have access to thousands of pre-made t-shirt design templates that you can use to create your design. With the Placeit T-Shirt Design Maker, you can quickly and easily create all the designs that you need to fill up your online store. When you sign up using the link in the video description below, not only will you have access to the T-Shirt Design Maker, but also the Logo Maker, the Mockups Generator where you can create professional image and video mockups, the Video Creator to create awesome marketing videos, and tons of other tools that can help you quickly grow your print-on-demand business. So now that I've created my new design, let's add it to my phone case template. To do this in GIMP, let's go up to File, then click on Open as Layers. You can then find and open your design to add it to your template. When you first add your design, it may appear oversized. So let's shrink the image down to fit inside the phone case print area. To resize your design in GIMP, you want to look at the tools on the left hand side and select the icon for the scale tool. You can then resize your image by typing in the pixel size or by dragging the corners of your image. You can also rearrange the image by clicking the center of your design and dragging it to your desired location. In order for my design to fit on both the iPhone and the Samsung phone cases, make sure your design fits within the print area for both boxes on your template. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the scale button here. Now my design should be the correct size for the Merch by Amazon phone cases. But before we export the image, let's remove the template so it doesn't show up on our t-shirt design. On GIMP, if you look at the menu on the right hand side, you can see all the different layers that are active in this project. We only want to export our design, so let's click the eyeball symbol here beside all the other layers. This will remove the other layers so that only our design is shown. Now that we've removed the other layers, we can now export our design. So let's look up at the top menu, go to File, then click on Export As. You can then select a location, create a name for your design, then click on Export. You'll then see another box pop up, but simply leave all the settings the same and click on Export. And voila, 
my new design has been saved to my computer. So now let's head over to Merch by Amazon and upload my new design to the smartphone cases. Go ahead and sign into your account and head over to the Create tab from your dashboard. Here's where you can view all the different products that are currently available for you to sell on Merch by Amazon. If we scroll down, we can see both the iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy phone cases. If they appear grayed out, that means you haven't selected them as your product yet. So let's scroll back up to the top of the page and click the Select Products button on the right hand side. This will open up a box where you can select the products that you want to add your design to. You can also select which countries you want to sell your products in. If we look down near the bottom under the All Products column, you should see tabs for both the iPhone and Samsung Galaxy cases. Currently, they're only available to be sold in the US, so let's select the two checkboxes here. Once you've selected all the products you want to add your design to, go ahead and click on Continue at the bottom right. Now that we've selected our phone cases, we can see that they are no longer grayed out. So let's click on Upload Artwork and add our design to the smartphone cases. There we go. I can now click on Edit Details and edit the price for any of the iPhone phone case models that are available to sell on Merch by Amazon. Once you're finished uploading your design and selecting the prices for your iPhone cases, you can do the same thing for the Samsung Galaxy cases. Go ahead and upload your design and select the prices for the Samsung Galaxy phone case models. Once you're finished, you can now scroll down and go to the Product Details section. Here's where you can enter your brand name, your design title, your featured bullet points, and your product description. When filling out your product details, make sure you're using good keywords so buyers can easily find your products. Under the product availability section, make sure you have your products set as searchable. Once you've finished editing all your products and adding your product details, go ahead and click on publish at the bottom right. You can then confirm your products, and your new design should start uploading to Merch by Amazon. There we go. Let's click on View Manage page to see my new design. Each new product that you launch will be under review until it's approved by Amazon. Once Amazon approves the product, you'll see the status change to live. My new smartphone cases are now available for purchase on Amazon. So let's click on the product listing here and check out my new smartphone case. And voila! Here's the cell phone case that I just created. Amazon shoppers can now purchase their smartphone cases with my design. So that's a quick overview of how to design and create smartphone cases on Merch by Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to be notified about future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.